Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Um, you'll notice our new beautiful layout uh, in this, this card here, this little thing here, our names. This is all provided by Rage. Our friend Rage. Rage. Friend of the stream. Friend of the stream, Rage. Uh, mm -hmm. Super excited to have it. Uh, also, it looks like the mic might be a little hot. So let's make sure. Yeah, I guess that's a good thing to, to talk. Look at that. Um, we're going to be playing Goo Gong. We are live right now. We yeah. Chat. We're playing Goo Gong. It's one of our favorite games. I think, um, I don't know if it came out last year, but we got it last year. Mm. Um, and it looks good. The sound. The sound. Looks good. good. We're not too loud unless I scream because Andrew. Took hey, the, the happy people's here. How's it going? Thanks for joining us. Yeah. We're playing Goo Gong tonight. Have you played this before? Or have you seen the, the beautiful deluxe edition? Andrew got the deluxe edition because I feel, I feel like you knew right away you were going to like it. For yeah. the theme alone. Well, actually, I got the retail edition initially. Oh, you and, did? I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what we, that's what we played last time. Um, and then I played it, really liked it, and then I... I sought after the the deluxe version. <laughs> so I so I've never played well we've never played the deluxe edition then, right? Yeah, we haven't I played I was wondering this I thought I cuz are these silk screen wooden pieces? Mm -hmm. I was wondering why it seemed everything seemed higher off the board, but it's cuz it's not chipboard anymore. Mm. Uh he uh Hobby Meeple does have the like, deluxe edition, but he hasn't been able to play it. Mm -hmm. Um it we I really enjoyed it at 2. Um it was, uh, they've got two sides of the board, so there's a two-player side of the board, uh, two to three-player side of the board, and um, it's still a satisfying game. I bet, you know, things are maybe a little bit more tense with higher player counts, but uh, just the hand management game of, like, planning out your cards each round uh, and, uh, and switching those with the things on the table... Uh, the board state changes a lot, so yeah, it's it's still pretty satisfying. At least that's what that's what I I found when we played it. But I had just like you, I had the uh, the well, I had the regular edition of the game, and I had it for probably a year before a year before we got it to the table. For some reason, it wasn't. Uh, I suggested it a lot of times, <laughs> just never. No one took it took me up on it. But we eventually played it, and it was. Uh, even better than I, I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Tell her that it was recommended by us. <laughs> <laughs> Say you were watching the uh, board game spam. That's actually how, with a lot of our friends, we're like, oh, we really like this game. And then Andrew will be like, tell them that Pia liked it. Because that, that's like a tipping point for some... <laughs> just because <laughs> I think it's not like I have really discerning tastes. I just... I get tired really easily of certain, like, kind of heavier games. So if I'm willing to play it and I liked it, then people are like, oh, maybe this is a selling point for my spouse. <laughs> um, is there I, anything you uh, got to the table recently? That's been fun? Yeah, I wonder, I'm trying to remember if we played this game also because it was, it was Chinese, the Chinese New Year was coming up and we were like, I don't think it's, it's been excuse. that long, is it? I thought I it was the fall time. Oh, maybe. Anyways, know. we did. I didn't need an excuse to play. <laughs> yeah. Well, but maybe I need. I like thematic. Like, hey, it's it's like this time of the year. Like, mm -hmm. let's play this game because we play. What's the one like autumn? Like, um, what is it? Uh, Indian summer and all. The, like, mm -hmm. I think we try to play it. Each of those in within the season. That yeah. Week. yeah, that's true. Because if if we could pair a drink or pair the season, then I'm like, ooh, this is this is fun. This is now like a night. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need to feature one of your uh, your 
game uh, beer pairings. Uh, we we were last time we were looking through. We were like, oh, we only own a couple of these. I think one of the games that was featured, but we'll we'll definitely do it one of these times. Uh, we I just love have a to good plan. pairing. Yeah, we have to we have to plan for it. But mm-hmm. I love the concept of pairing a beer with each game. Um, Hobby Meeple says he continued our near and far campaign last night. Oh, nice. yeah, we started ours last summer. Got three or four games in, and then I was winning too much. <laughs> Might have turned one of us <laughs> off of the game. <laughs> and it was way better at it than me, so I think I need to... Um... I really liked it, though. Um, I'm super excited for Sleeping Gods, which we just got in the mail, which is a co-op. I mean, you, you'll know, but um, it's a co-op mm. kind of take on the same from the same designer mm. and... It's going to be similar. I think I might be more interested in campaigns now that we are home a lot more. And I think that was one of the reasons why it was like, I'm I'm used to getting beat by Andrew, but I feel like in terms of games, I think there we were having, a, we had a lot more variety of games before, but now that those people are not accessible, <laughs> um, we, we have a limited amount. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I could go back to it. Yeah, it'll be fun. Capex is here. Capex in the house. Hey, Capex. Friend he, of the stream. Friend of the stream. Gets the alignment bios. Yeah, uh, that is Rage. Rage is doing. Uh, he made those for us. And he made this cool card stack. Uh, which actually, now I see the cards. We have them all visible right now. Let's just let's just get the red one. <laughs> it's a little busy. We um, are playing this game in honor of um, Chinese New Year coming up. Um, but I feel like the week, or it's like a month in China, right? It's not just like a day. But mm-hmm. one of the things we, one of the big traditions is cleaning. We haven't gotten to that point yet. But we are playing a game and we're eating round, round food. And hopefully some <laughs> noodles and dumplings this week. But um, We have not gotten sleeping us to the table. Uh, we... We played Rococo yesterday, mm-hmm. and then, but Sleeping Gods is like the next thing on my table, because another streamer, Herbs Gambit, has like played it recently, and I was like, oh, I want to play it. It takes very little for me to get, like, oh, someone's playing it, like, I need <laughs> to play right. it now. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the, the, the budget each week, we increase. <laughs> There's a new friend that's like, "Hey, I can help you." It's it's all like, collaboration <laughs> with friends, <laughs> which has been which honestly really, really fun for COVID. Just because since we don't see everyone as much, but they're like, "Oh, I can help you with an overlay or a light or audio." It's mm-hmm. been it's been like a fun. I don't know. It's fun to not just talk with friends, but like to problem solve with friends. Mm-hmm. Griff Dog says, uh, Ryan Lock- Lockhart of Sleeping Gods also has the next game near and far cycle, so uh, Now or Never coming out. I saw the cover for this one, Now or Never, uh, which is such a final. Like, now or Never. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought, I thought Griff Dog was saying, like, Now or Never, like, play your play near and far, and for a moment I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's not happening if you I, don't do it now. I will. I will. Uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna be fun. Um, I'll probably wait and see on that one just because near and far. I liked it a lot, um, and Pia was a little bit cold on it. I was getting the, beat too much. <laughs> the competitive nature of it. She liked the story and that stuff, but um, I think Sleeping Gods is going to be a little bit more our speed. Which is funny because I don't necessarily prefer co-ops, but I feel like, I don't know, you were just better at adventuring than me. I think I, I, think I need to be a better adventurer. It's and, 2021. I could be a better adventurer this year than last year. And I think it's it's the campaign plus competitive, which is a little bit harder. Oh, I see. We, we've been enjoying My City, which is another campaign and competitive game. But, um, which is funny, because I feel like I would prefer Near and Far because it's more narrative-driven. Mm-hmm. But, again, I didn't like that you were a better adventurer than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sleeping Gods looks so nice. Uh you didn't kickstart it. Oh no. Um, yeah, I did not kickstart it, so I did not know when it would, would be able to get it. So yeah, I think it'll be going to retail after, like most of it. It did stuff. well. Um, yeah, after uh, after the Kickstarter delivers, but 
yeah, that's been a fun one to to go through, uh, go along with in the Kickstarter. It was pretty smooth. Most of his most of his Kickstarters are very smooth in terms of delivery date not being too delayed. Even amidst COVID, I, I have so many Kickstarters that are delayed four or five, six months right now. They're rolling in. <laughs> They're real rolling slow. In. Actually, got one today. Um, yeah, are you guys big Kickstarter um, people? I'm not really. I'm only now getting into the Kickstarter, like, paying attention to it. Andrew's so away. we got import-export in the mail today. And this one was a particular, int- particularly interesting one to follow because... Um, I'm going to show it. I'm going to show it while you talk. k yeah. I feel like you'd like this design. So it's a game about, you know, shipping things. Well, when it, it, when it got to the U.S., there was actually... Um, Something went wrong with the shipment, and there was water damage, or there was some damage to a bunch of the boxes um, of the game. And so they had to do an insurance claim, um, which, you know, goes at the speed of whatever insurance companies. Um, it's out mirrored, actually, so it's going to be backwards. I, I oh, really that's okay. Got, yeah. Um, but uh, anyways, the uh, a bunch of them were damaged, so they didn't know if they were going to be able to deliver them all, and... Uh, they had to wait for the insurance company to file the claim. Anyways, it all worked out, and they started shipping last week. Uh, but the rest of the world was like has had them for a while. So, but um, fun. Or let's see if the the chat knows if if what Anyone flag can... this is, Anyone... and it's flipped. So if if you if that's throwing you off, um, I got it right, and Andrew got it wrong, and that's the only <laughs> reason why I'm showing. You the flag. Apparently, there's there's a new there's a different flag. It's random on. Yeah, there's different flags on each of these. So um, I mean, I there's probably more than just us have this one flag, but there. This is special for this is special for us. <laughs> there's only a few of them with this flag. Yeah. <laughs> no, the um, I'm not a big trivia person, and the only reason why I know about this flag is there was a West Wing episode, and I'm new to West Wing. It's the show I've been watching while I'm nursing. And um, it was related to that flag. So um, I'm, we're terrible at trivia, especially yeah, flags and geography. Yeah, invite us to trivia and expect to win. <laughs> we'll have a good time. Uh, we'll definitely make sure people have fun. But uh... We'll buy the drinks. <laughs> we'll eat the snacks. We will not contribute very much. Yeah, if people, if there happens to be a trivia question about board games or video games, you know. 90s I'm on it. I'm on it. <laughs> But otherwise, I'm just uh, there to have fun. And there have fun. to eat. There yeah, to there hang to out. Um, the uh, this this game is called Gugong, and um, you can explain it, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's based off of a time period in China, Ming Dynasty, during the Ming Dynasty, where um, the uh, they outlawed bribery. And no more of it because it was it was the corruption of bribery was was bad in the imperial city and so this is uh uh the city here and um well tell the stream why you particularly like this theme also because i love bribing people <laughs> i don't i'm not sure what i'm not sure why <laughs> because andrew was a chinese studies uh, and language major and he likes bribery <laughs> <laughs> I lived in China for a year in college, so I, you know, if a if a Chinese theme is done well, I I I enjoy it. It's it's uh it's always fun to see um uh, yeah to see see a company do it do a good job and incorporate you know pieces of the culture and uh into the game. And so this game is so what happened when they hey Manu Josh is here. Jo- hey. I think I have per- perfect attendance. This is true. Tell us what you think of the new um, style here. Our friend that we collaborated with, he... Friend of the stream, friend of the stream Rage. Rage. He made this for us. Super awesome. Um, so the idea at the time, or the practice at the time, was instead of bribery, someone would give someone like a super expensive gift, maybe like a jade statue. Jade, jade tiger. Uh, jade tiger here. Uh, Jaded Tiger. Jaded Tiger. Another stream. Friend yeah, of the stream. Friend of the stream. <laughs> um, and, or, you know, really nice... Um, oh, I don't know if the photo like can pot. see. Like, pot. 
uh, have to show it to them. Something very expensive, and then the other person would give them back something worth a lot less. And so it's technically not a bribe because it's an exchange of gifts, but they were not equal value. So the game is kind of built around that concept. Um, where And otherwise, it's kind of combined that with a worker placement game. So basically, um, you know, let's switch scenes. Now let's hope the audio... not have gone. All right, so the audio didn't look like it was working in that scene. Uh, We're still let learning me, uh, Let me troubleshoot real quick. Still hear us. Um... I'm just going to keep talking so that Andrew can see if the, the audio levels are. But they are not persimmons, unfortunately. They're mandarin oranges. Um, but... Oh. Hello? Hello, there we go. Can you hear us now? I made a bunch of new scenes when I made these uh when I made these setups and so uh, Oh awesome. So Andrew, you were going into a history lesson, which there should be a, <laughs> a drunk history version of this yeah. of Andrew explaining this. Because he told me this story about how this is actually part this is like a historical thing that happened in China. And I think that was one of the reasons why I wanted to play. Yeah, it's a, I mean... The whole idea of, like, bribery being outlawed, and so they got around it by exchanging high-value gifts with low-value gifts because it wasn't a bribe because they got something in return. It was just something not as good. Mm -hmm. um, it's a practice that's still around um, where big gifts that, I think, in the West, we would call it bribery, but it's not seen as bribery in in China. We watched a documentary a while back. Um, what was the name of that? Um, it's called Vote for Me. And it was a, it was this really interesting experiment where they were teaching the child, like one classroom in um, China in elementary school um, like democracy and voting. And so they had a class election, which was a class election for the, what's the term? Um, for like the class representative in, you know, and they do that in elementary school. And um, usually the teacher assigns who is that role, but the class got to demonstrate, like the class got to do an election. But one of the pieces of the election was like a talent show. And I'm like, why are they doing a talent show for the elections <laughs> for class representatives? But um, Andrew's like, no, it's kind of the concept of like, I don't know, warrior poet type of like, you are, you are, you would be a good selection if you also showed all these different skills. But another thing was I got to learn about that concept of like what the West would see as bribery, but for them it's it's a different context. So um, mm -hmm. I thought that was just really fascinating. And it's interesting to see it in a board game. Yeah. But. In that show, spoiler alert, there's definitely one kid who straight up just bribes the whole classroom for votes. <laughs> but he brings them treats. He brings them treats. But they don't give him anything in return, so therefore it's bribery, not a exchange of gifts. Uh, big Wampa, Big Heat Wampa says, we cannot see you. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, um, I can see them. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused why you wouldn't be able to see I think it. you're going to go to Zoom jail, yeah, Big Wampa. You might, go, you, might, uh, you might be going to Stream uh, jail. Twitch jail. <laughs> The chat can this, might, this might be user error. Okay. 
I like everything on my end <laughs> is saying that you should see us. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the to the stream, Big Heap Wampum. So, um, do, do you want to explain the game real quick? Yeah, uh, I'll I'll give I I'll give one last kind of explanation here. Um, She's gonna so, do it one more time. One more, one more time. So this game is, <laughs> this is for. Uh, me. for um, Oh, you want the rules? Or like, actually, we could just play it, right? Yeah. People can ask. Uh, so th this game is, um, the idea is that we're exchanging gifts of unequal value as bribes so that we can do actions around the board. Um, and uh, each of those actions kind of have its own little rule set. And we can explain them as we do them. If which is how familiar. I like to learn games, um, which is how, one of the reasons why I don't do well in the first game because I'm just ignoring the rules explanation at yeah. the beginning. <laughs> the fun thing about this game is they kind of uh, mix, if you ever played Hearts, with a worker placement game. So a trick-taking game or a game where you're, uh, a card game where you're trying to play higher cards of the same suit. There's no suits in this, but you're always trying to play higher cards on top of each other. Um, and then they combine that with a, a worker placement game. So uh, a game where there's kind of long-term strategy and... and um, when you place your guy on a spot, you get stuff for it, basically. So, um, hi, Redia. Did you help Big Wampum get the get the get the technology <laughs> sorted working. out? <laughs> so, um, I believe you're the first I, player. I right? am the first player by this giant metal coin, metal gold, beautiful coin. I'll just hold this all night. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew loves. It's not gonna get too weird here. Andrew's <laughs> try not to get it too weird here. Loves the metal coins in Kickstarters. Um, all right, I'm going to just start off here. And so the conceit here is um, I have, have to play a higher card, so there was a one here. And ones beat nines, which is the only time that ever is broken. This is the card I'm going to get in the next round. So I have to kind of forward plan and try to pr make my hand of cards for the next round while I do this. Whoa, we got a follow from Big Heap Wampum. Uh, we, uh, whoa, 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 that's for subscription. Oh, sorry. It's guy. <laughs> it's, too, it's too excited. So uh, for follows here, uh, Big Heap Wampum, we've got Dr. Alan Grant. He comes out. And, and Andrew's he, childhood toy. This is my legit uh, childhood toy. I played with this on the bed. And he comes <laughs> out and he thanks people for follows. Thank you, Big Heap Wampum. <laughs> Thank you. You made my day. And then he goes back. Hiding from the dinosaurs. Um, so I'm gonna go... Hold up, Whoa. hold up. I didn't do any of my actions. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> I exchanged the cards and he's over here trying to just take everything. So the card has the bonus action on it, so I'm gonna do that, which means I get to send one of my workers to help build the, the Great Wall. The doomed fate of that. I don't think they built it during the Ming Dynasty, but that's okay. They built it in many dynasties. Um, And... Then I am going to also... Whoa, Chinese history and language and culture, you know, major in the house. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to spend one worker to then place two workers on this boat. That's my action. Cool. I'm going to go with... These boats kind of go down the river and they collect... Um, Bonuses. One of the bonuses you can get is this cool conjoined twin, uh, double worker. Um, I don't know if it's not actually a conjoined twin. But, yeah. It's a double worker. It's a double worker. I, they don't exist in real life, but they sound cool. Double workers. <laughs> Griff Doc says I like the new all over one. Yeah, it's an ever evolving thing, Griff Doc. <laughs> the um, it, it was birthed out of the the dinosaur game that yeah, we played. Yeah, Dinogenics. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to um, trade this six brass pot with this seven statue. So I'm going to grab the six. I'm grabbing the six because at the top, you get bonuses for getting the cards that are these numbers. So I want this six for later. But um, And this gets me, I'm going to spend one worker to move up three. One, two, three. And that's my turn. So this is the influence track over here. Uh, it's going to break ties in other areas of the game. Um, and then you can also spend influence to get 
extra stuff. Workers or change the dice, mm -hmm. um, etc. Etc. And oh no. Um, as Andrew tries to decide his turn, one of the things that's kind of cool with a little bit of future planning is that the cards that you exchange, so like I exchange the seven for the six, the six is going here, and I know in the next turn that I'm going to have a six that I can play with. And you're the first one to go there. So oh, yeah, the and I get the first player token, mm -hmm. which is a common thing in worker placements. Um, but... It's nice because we've actually played this game before, so I'm not personally fumbling through it. Usually we've been <laughs> playing completely new games to me um, <laughs> during the stream because it's just a good excuse to play some games that haven't gotten any any chance yet. But then I'm just like asking questions the whole time. So um, this uh, center area is where the um, your guys walk up to pay honor to the Emperor and... Uh, the cool part about this is there's no rewards for it, but if you don't do it, you're not eligible to win the game. So, so you better honor so you that better emperor. Honor the emperor. <laughs> <laughs> um, my turn. So you can exchange. Uh, uh, that's not good. Um, let's see. I'm going. Let's see. Oh. I'm Whoa. Whoa! Come on. <laughs> um, Big keep wampum texted us. Where, where are you guys streaming? Where? Twitch. Welcome, Big keep wampum. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't text you back. <laughs> um, I'm going to. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna spend my eight to trade this loot, or I don't know. Do you, what are these um, guitars? Called? Do you know? Do you have a name for? I'm you know? gonna guess. I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember yeah. for this pot, and then I'm gonna place my character here, and pay one to go there. Right? It's mm -hmm. take one to go there. So you get three victory points for that, and uh, then you're gonna get to move your guy down the track each round. Done. Each morning. One of the things that I read is that some people think. Um, there's like not a lot of interaction between like your actions, but in some ways I kind of like that because it's it makes the game a little bit lighter, which makes me willing to play it. If there's so many things that are interacting, I feel like my brain hurts and then I'm I'm too tired. <laughs> so up here is like this adventure zone. You've got a little adventurer who uh, just wanders around collecting goods, and I don't really know where he's thematically. Maybe he's a bandit. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. um, so I have to pick where he's gonna go. Where he's gonna go here? Because um, I can decide anywhere that I want. Oh yeah, this is what I want to do. And that actually comes from the general supply. To fill up my ship over here. Man, all the cards out there are so expensive. So, Andrew, I'm probably going to have to play a card. So, I guess this is a good way to show what it looks like when you have a terrible move. So, what I'll do is I'll trade this 4 for 4, and it's not higher. Um, it's an equal well, trade. An equal trade. Worthless. A, uh, a vase for a vase. A vase for a vase. <laughs> um, so I can't do the action here, and I can't do this either, right? I can't do any of it. Uh, unless you either discard another card mm -hmm. or spend two workers. Or spend two workers. I would discard... I'll discard a card, because I can't... Techn yeah, I'll discard a card because I can't even. Um, can't go anywhere. I can't even go anywhere with it. News or um, sorry, uh, oh, this is incorrect. Oops, that, I put the wrong one out there. But um, I'll 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 spend the card and then um, I'm going to move. Do you get a permanent new worker here? Is that what it uh, is? Yeah, you get a new worker. Oh, I'm gonna do that. Permanent worker. Um, and I'll get mine. And that's my uh, turn. From there, yeah. 
Um, and uh, Griff Talk says the game board and player boards look really nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is this is probably one of, and I didn't get it at first until I finally saw. I think I saw one in person or something like that. But um, I had heard that the deluxe version of this game was really nice. And uh, I looked at it online, and I didn't quite understand why it was so why people said it was so nice. Um, and then at some point, so I bought the retail version originally, and then I got this on Afterwork, I think, on Board Game Geek uh, soon after the second Kickstarter delivered. Uh, after I knew that I, I liked the game a lot, and it was worth the upgrades. But we haven't played with the expansions yet, but. Definitely enjoy it. Okay, my yeah. final. Yeah, the the board definitely like um, kind of like helps you kind of imagine the the world, which is really nice. Um, it was I was asking Andrew because someone had asked us in our other stream like what our favorite games are, and I don't really, um, I didn't really know how to articulate that. I haven't really been. I mean, Andrew's. I've been in the hobby, but I've been mostly just hanging out with Andrew playing board games. Mm-hmm. But I do, have... I do the, I tend to do more of the research for the games, and Pia just like plays what we have, uh, um, which is probably the healthier way to do it. Um, <laughs> but, but because I buy games all the time. But, but yeah. the, um, you had said that I like thematic euros is the thing that um, what I like euros or prefer euros, but where I tend to diverge is I. A, a, a theme will make it or break it. So unfortunately, mm-hmm. Andrew has all these euros that are like really critically acclaimed, or I don't know, it's critically really well loved, but he unplayed, <laughs> sitting there unplayed. The Moy is here, our first subscriber. The Moy. We, this... So this is this is what we do for subscribers, and you did it while we weren't doing it. But um, the uh, Monkey King thanks you. He bows, and his face <laughs> changes. <laughs> He thanks you twice. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> this came from our last trip to China. <laughs> and we haven't taken it out of the box yet, so now we get to use it. <laughs> it was among our Chinese New Year decorations. Um but uh so that was a that was a round. Big heap wampum, you're a false daddy. Where is your dungeon daddy shirt? I wore it last stream. I can't wear it five days in a row. I started I started listening to that podcast. It's um Big Heap Wampum uh and Ready It got us the shirt and they said that they I don't know how you guys found this shirt. Um but we like D D and it's like Dungeon Daddy and then under it says, Dungeons and Daddies. Dungeons and Daddies. Not a BDSM podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um but it's a uh D and D podcast. It's a D and D podcast where uh the concept for their campaign is that they are dads in real life in the regular world who have been sucked into a fantasy world, uh a la like uh Narnia or something like that, but D and D fantasy world. And uh they transform into different D and D characters when they when they do that. But, um, it's good. The yeah, final listen to the first funny. episode is good. Moy, you've benefited a little bit from your board game collection, just a smidge. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Moy is friend of the podcast, uh, not podcast, friend of the stream, stream. <laughs> IRL. He gets to uh, he joins us for board game nights. Um, it's really great because then Andrew and and um, um, Lemoy can play brain burners, and I can just sit and. I do think this is one you, you will like, uh, Moy. It's uh, so it's worker placement. Don't invite him; he'll be really good. <laughs> it's worker placement, but it's kind of combined with like hearts, where each of the locations uh, you have to play a card higher. Um, so this five, like I'd have to play six or more. And then the five would then come into my personal supply, and it would be my card for the next round. So you're always trying to think one round ahead and make sure you have a, like, if you plan poorly and you've got a three, a two, and a one, like I, <laughs> <laughs> then uh, you're in this situation where I can't really go anywhere. But, um, all right. So, hold on. All right, so we, so 
We have to do the end of the round. Thing. Okay. So let's get our bonus. So the fortune track there. Okay, watch this, everybody. Four, four, and a six. So I got three. You have three workers. I get okay. one worker. Oh, what if there's... I get more. One. You're supposed to have six in the reserve. Yeah. So when I got the extra guy, was that a new person from my reserve? Or like a new person that was... Exhausted? We moved... They just moved to, from your the general supply to your personal supply. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six... And then you're supposed to have six that are here. Or five that are out here. Mm. One, two, three. You said four? Five. Four. Okay. Because I grabbed. Five. five. Yeah, yeah. But I grabbed one just now. From yeah, yeah. There. But I'm accounting for that. Oh, you're right. You're right. Um, and then you, you probably should have your boats and your devil worker out and ready. Just. Andrew just... does not like how this organized my side of the table is. <laughs> It's, it's funny because in real life you're way more organized than me, but in games you're just like there's a they have like a clear setup for your area, and Pia's like, I don't care about any of that. I'm just gonna throw these things. It's a K Pax move. Well, <laughs> then you get confused halfway through the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay, end of round. Yeah. Story. Okay. Um, all right. So we got that, and you had three, and I had one. Yeah. So you get the majority of the destiny stuff. So you get um, three points. One, two, three, and you get to move your guy one on that track. Because of because of that or because of this? Because you had three of cool. the destiny things. And then um, all the ships move. And I'm not going to do that. Then we do the start of round stuff. So you get the first player token. This comes back. Metal. And we refill these here. These adventure tiles. And then I get to move closer to the em emperor, right? Because it's morning time. It is. I rested my leg and I continued walking. Ooh, wow, look at this. I, is the Forbidden City this far, really, that they're, like, taking multiple days to get it? <laughs> it's really big. <laughs> I like to think that there's, like, food on the side, so they're walking slowly so and taking breaks. So you got that bonus. And then this moves up and we each get four workers. Four workers. One, two, three, four. It's going to feel so good to do all, all right. the moves. So keep on with Pax Romana move. <laughs> and I like Crunchy Euro games, but it's the theme that will get them back to the table. Today. Very, very, true. very true. This this work for, we played Rococo Deluxe yesterday. And that's another one where uh, the gameplay and the theme just really work well together too. Yeah. I think you have to find, like, a group of people who really like the crunchy Euro games that are, like, on the uglier side and, like... Not the people on the uglier side. The games on the uglier yeah. side. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just want to make sure we're well, clear. But, like, because if you want, like... You start, actually. Um, if you want... Like, I feel like most people are similar to you, Griff Dog, where, like, theme has to count for some of it, you know? Um... <laughs> Only your ugly friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I The big, okay. heavy, complex So, games. did you roll the dice? Are those the new ones? Those are the new ones. Ooh, Five, six, and nine. Okay. I'm going to go... Oh, no. Um. You know what? I'm going to go here. How many do? How many workers do I have to play to do an action even though I have a worse piece two two okay i think i'm gonna do that because i have a lot of people no i'm gonna exhaust a card actually i'm gonna go here this official is not gonna like what i did so i'm gonna exhaust this card okay and that's my move i'm gonna go here perfect oh right i i play an extra card to be able to do the move and i place it here Oh, yeah, and so the move is you um, remove one guy and place one guy. So you have to discard one more guy. Oh, I have to discard. Yeah. It's okay. He's okay. All right, so I am going to go here, and I'm just going to keep locking my guy up the emperor's tracks here. Um, big mom comes laughing at us. Uh... Is this like Taverns of Tiefenthal? It is not dissimilar from Taverns of Tiefenthal. It's, uh, I'm trying to, in that it's, it's a thematic 
they both are thematic Euro games where there's a, a strong theme to it, but it's also kind of puzzly. Um, this one is more, more of the game is out here on the, the shared space than in taverns. Taverns, it's more about your kind of personal tavern that you're working on. Which, I want to play with you one of these days. That was a, it's a fun game. Taverns also comes with a ton of cool little uh, modules that every time you replay you can add. I'm going to go here with a cheaper jade. Oh, sorry. That's what I do. Uh, that is two workers. Two workers? Yeah. They um, they just go into your judge's play. Okay. Mm-hmm. Done. And then, oh, but I get an extra one, right? Uh, is that the card you spent? Yeah. Yes. That's nice. A <laughs> practice round alone. <laughs> alone? I don't know. They might have a solo version. Of the game. Uh, Griff Dog says they played Roll for the Galaxy and Wingspan, both with both expansions. Uh, we recently got the Oceania expansion, expansion for Wingspan, which we're excited to check out. Uh, tell us what you thought of it. I haven't actually played Roll for the, Roll for the Galaxy yet. Is that a crunchy Euro game? Um, it's the dice version of a card game, one of the most popular like multi-use card games. It's the the dice version? version? Yeah. Roll. I like dice. Um, because I need... I feel like I, I roll decently well. <laughs> I know that that's not really a thing, but I feel confident in my dice rolling skills. Alright, I'm going to go here. Oh, I, that's... I made it more expensive for you? You did make it more expensive, but I would. I need to do this. I need the six for next round. Ooh. Oh, this is nine. I took that, so that's for next round too. Um, and I am going to spend three jade. So this is the Jade scoring track. You just get points for Oh, I got it. Okay. Man, okay. Let's see. I'm going to go with here. I'm going to trade these two. And then here you go, official. Get this <laughs> base. Cool. And this means I play... So optionally, one. you can you can place one guy on a ship, okay. which you'd have to put your first ship up there to okay. do. Place one guy. So this is this that's optional, mm -hmm. but then you have to spend one guy to put two guys on the ship. Like that. There you go. And then I for, I forgot the card special bonus card is the you move up right. Yeah, and uh, part of the first action is moving at once. Okay, so but you're there. No. You would move. Oh to my gosh, Andrew, why are you? You don't have to move. But... It it's all gonna move. Next turn, right? Be. Okay, I'll wait. You're not. You don't want because I want to be there. Oh, you want to be the floor. But place. you, your boat is just yeah. hanging out on the dock. Um, in my way. This. <laughs> <laughs> Lawful. Um. Ah. Uh. What is this action on this part? <laughs> yeah, real quick. Exchange one card from your hand or discard pile with one card of the game where if you used a card from the discard pile. Oh, okay. For Chinese New Year, I'm checking out some dumpling recipes. Uh, I feel like I want to do the standard shrimp and pork one. Um, just because I know that combination works well in lumpia. So a dumpling version would be good. But we're also thinking about going up to Seattle to get Sichuan food um, sometime this week. Because we're dropping off some, some things for some friends. And mostly 
we don't have to go up there to drop it off, but we want to get the Sichuan food. <laughs> um, so my action here is I get to exchange a card with something that's out on the table. We're going to exchange it for this. There. And since it's from my hand, oh, it stays in my hand. That's cool. That's what that card does? That's a good one. Yeah. Yes. That's very cool. And then your turn? I'm out of cards. You're out of cards. Did you go twice in a row? No, I oh, did, spent... You spent I, a card, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, there. And I'm going to do this action. I'm going to spend a guy to move up three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to... Uh, Griff Dog says, Roll for the Galaxy is a hidden roll. Quote unquote, game where you use the dice to select actions. You activate a uh, tile type of... It's probably something you'd like. You, it's. I mean, it sounds like it. You roll yeah. dice and you're spending them to do actions. Yeah, that's something I realized last year that I really like for some reason i don't know why it's different like a, a like a dice is different than a card for me because mm-hmm. is that what was the game that we played with moy that space base isn't dice um you're not spending the dice are you in that way uh yeah yeah space uh, you're not it's a that one it's also a dice game but maybe in a little different way maybe the example of space base is just that i like dice space base is awesome but are ooh. That, uh, that's one that I feel like I could just replay over. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so pleasant to play. Um, um, Chin is up in Shoreline, and we really like it. Our favorite Sichuan place, Little Chengdu, Big Wampa, Big Wampa and Reddit showed us that place. Mm-hmm. But um, we also really like this place in South Center um, called... Is it Three Peppers? There, it's something Some Pepper. Wild Peppers? No, we got to look it up because now we're going to... Because I think Wild Pepper is a Thai place that we also enjoy. But, uh, South Center, so. We should look at it later. <laughs> yeah, I, and we gotta find out. Um... But it's near. Um, is it near South Center? No, I can't. Wild Pepper. Ha! Really? It's yeah, wild Pepper. It's wild Pepper. Oh, Go yeah. to Wild Pepper. Get their uh, Sichuan style uh, fried chicken and Sichuan style fried chicken. So and their, good. Um, what else do they have that's really good? Their Don Don. Don Don, Don Don's good, yeah. Okay. All right. Focus. So, uh, focus. We're getting our fortune dice. Oh, How many did want you get? Sichuan food. Um, I got. Oh, I only got one this time. I got three, which means I get the bonus three points plus my guy continues walking towards the emperor. Um, and I get three workers. And then the ship's moved. I'm going to activate this ship. Can you um, just activate it whenever you want? Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. I'm, At this point. Or, uh, yeah. I'm activating mine too. Do we get these people back straight into our pool? Um, No. They, oh. they, whenever they get used, they always go to oh, your general okay. pool. So I get four. One, two, three, four. He is going for the points. Um... And then I get... That's how you win the game, right? The points. I know, but I'm doing all the other things. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wait, where did cards. you... Okay, I, I have not this done one gets, This one gets me a card. Oh, got it. Um, and that is the end of the round. So... Was there anything I needed to get? Sorry, you were going through your scoring, and I didn't. And I think I need... I think I need you to double check. There was no scoring. I, oh. We were just getting our workers. And got you it, got your right. worker. Got it. And then I had the majority of the fortune dice. So I see. That's where I got It seemed like you were doing a lot of stuff there, and I was wondering if I was supposed to be doing it. Yeah, you stuff. got to do all this for the last <laughs> round. <laughs> Can I roll um, the dice, the destiny dice? Yeah. So. Okay. Be the cards I need. That's awful. Two ones and a six. Well, ones are going to be worth a lot right now. Workers each. So then you're going to get your two bonuses here. So you're going to move your guy up one on that track. Walking towards the Emperor. Moving up on that. Remind me, Andrew, to be able to spend this, I need to score up here. I need to place some people up here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Griff Dog 
uh, Space Base is one that I keep having to stop myself from buying expansions because the 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 main box is just like I don't know, so perfect. But um, hey, Pig is here. Hey, oh, how's it going? I caught, uh, everyone should definitely check out Pig's streams. He plays um, different games with the people in the chat. And uh, it's always funny. Um, he was playing uh, Super Fight last time, which if you haven't played, is a game where you create random monsters with uh, cards. We have a you. You guys had like a a janky version of it where you guys just drew. Yeah, we used to call it uh, what was it Monster Fight, and we would each draw our own custom monsters, and then we'd argue about why they would win in a fight. Which, uh, of, in Andrew, Andrew's group of friends, I feel like it would make sense that it's just a, 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 um, a vehicle for arguing why this monster <laughs> that Andrew drew is, is, um, better than Moy's monster that he drew or whatever. Big Heap Wampum says he thinks you forgot to move your little marker. <gasps> and then winks and laughs. <laughs> when... You know, the, the chat's paying more attention than I am, so I think that that's correct. <laughs> Uh, I guess I was talking about Chef King. Is that in Seattle? I haven't, I haven't been there. But what type of food do we have? I want to know. Yeah, we are. We love food. Is how we like to do everything. So <laughs> Tra travel, travel, or just if we're out getting groceries. Uh, um. But so, what's the? Is it your turn now, or is it my turn? I'm first player, right? I'm gonna grab these people back. Um, those guys always stay there. What's the game? What people? I'm just double checking. Oh yeah, you know, I was just keeping track of the, the oh. chat here, and then we'll, uh, Pig says Super Fight is fun watching the chat argue over who. Wins. Yeah, it was fun arguing with the chat over who should win. Um, Sarah, stay of mine. Hey, how's it going? Hey, thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. What have you been playing like lately this weekend? Um, yeah, Andrew was with the baby in the other room, and Andrew was like, Pig, Pig is playing Super Fight, and it's really funny, and I'm like two <laughs> rooms away in the kitchen, um, and I didn't know what Super Fight was, so I was like, what is, I, I, it, I thought it was a video game, but anyways, keep going. Yeah. Uh, Griff Dog says shy, he has the Shy Pluto expansion for Space Base, uh, which is, uh, I haven't played, it's a campaign, right? Uh, I, yeah, I, I keep looking at that one and then the big box one. And the, like the base, space the base so game much. is so good. Um, and I know I would like those, but I need to I need to stop myself sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Pig says, my comedian friend owns Chef King. Nice. Joe King. Joe King. Jo oh. Ha. You, jo I got it before Andrew. Joe King. <laughs> <laughs> My dad is a huge pun guy, so I should have seen that right away. <laughs> um, is it my turn? Says, uh, place space space. Ooh, deception murder in Hong Kong. Yes, <gasps> that is one of our favorites, uh, mm -hmm. especially hidden roll ones. It's one of the hidden roll ones that Pete actually enjoys. It's um, because I am always the like the betrayer or the bad guy in hidden roll games, and everyone always blames Andrew because he's got a suspicious face. But he never is that like hidden role or the like betrayer cat like character. Mm -hmm. So I'm always I want to play it because I like the experience. But I always I always know I'm gonna get the the betrayer card or whatever. <laughs> We're each gonna get four. four? four. That's what I was trying to grab. Oh. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, Chef King is Sichuan. It's located in Greenwood. Oh my gosh. <gasps> uh, that must be new or. -er. I lived in Greenwood in 2011. You would have um, known. And I would have I would have made it a point. Tricky 20's here! What's up, Tricky? <laughs> um, just so you know, I was telling the stream earlier that I'm planning on making dumplings for, um, for Chinese New Year. Probably like a shrimp pork one because that's the lumpia combination my family does. So expect some if you're around. Friday, but, um, so it's my, is it my turn? You start us. Okay. You start us. So I'm going to go. Hmm. 
This suspicious is... face sounds like a super fight character. That does <laughs> sound like a trait in super fight. Suspicious face. Yes, you're the pig. You're the ox. Wait, no, it's the year of the ox. It's the year of the ox. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Lumpia! Says so Sarah Stanley. Yes. Yeah. Real good. <laughs> Vicky Bowman, I'll be around. <laughs> I'm gonna go here. Oh. oh, on 85th and 3rd, yes. Um, The little Japanese place. Well, if I had walking distance in Sichuan food, that would have changed my life. It'd be game over. Um, I was not, I had no money that year, so it probably would have just made me really mad. He, he worked for my <laughs> uncle, and he, he did. Um, for... <laughs> it's okay, pig. It's okay. He says, I thought 2020 was pig. 2021 was pig. Uh, what is the cycle? Wait, um, hold on. Before you go to the cycle, mm-hmm. um... So I, I went here, mm-hmm. I get no bonuses on the card, I get to play one person, mm-hmm. and I can discard one person to play another a, two, a second one. or a second one, yeah. and then that, <gasps> so that we're gonna scores, tie. we're gonna tie, oh, but no. you are higher in the entry yes. track, so you okay. win the tie, so you're gonna get three points, plus movement on the one, emperor, two, three. emperor's movement. new groove track. I don't think I did that, these, these morning you, things, you oh, yeah. okay. I don't that's know. How, that's how you Mickey got here. Wampum told. Okay, never mind. That's how you got there. Because <laughs> I was, I was actually uh, thinking about ahead that. of you. Oh, got it. Until that moment. So then I finished. And now that. both of us can spend these um, if we would like. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, I'll do that. I'll spend three to get two workers. Workers are nice. It would be nice to play workers, but I Confirmed. don't... Confirmed. It's Ox 2021. Um, we worked at a summer camp, and, like, we named people different, um, like, funny names or whatnot. Not necessarily funny. Like, Andrews was Gandalf, Gandalf as a camp name, and mine was Storm. But someone... they Usually, they end up just being really long, nonsensical words. Oh. So you won, so your guys come off there. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, and go straight back into my pool? Nothing no. ever goes back into your pool. I really <laughs> wanted just, to really be in my pool. You really want to be <laughs> <laughs> always not going back to your pool. <laughs> but we had a friend who really wanted to name someone Ox. Because it was just <laughs> funny to us because it was so short. Because we wanted to just keep chanting Ox, Ox, Ox whenever they like show up. I forgot about that. Bones John is here. Hey, Bones John. Hey, Bones Welcome John. To the stream. Four hours of sleep. Ooh. That does not sound fun. Is that normal for you? There's There are some people who can do a little less sleep. I am not that type of person. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm trying to decide if I should spend... Do you, um, you know what? I'm going to spend my three. One, two, three. This is my problem. I keep hoarding like... um. Not currency, but I hoard stuff that don't really win you points. And I need to be better at, like, actually using that. Okay, then. Alright, so... You know, you would have thought that I would be planning out my turn. Come on. <laughs> um, one would think. Where's that one card? I know you have it. The one card? Oh. I don't know. One is scoring points this um, at the end of this round because it's, I don't know if you guys can see the dice from from 6 1 1 are the ones that um, are the dice they're going to score at the end. Mm. Which I was doing the first time I played, I spent too much time focusing on that. I think. That's my downfall for a lot of games. There's like one oh little rule, here. and I plan my whole strategy around it, and I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe I've heard I heard it like, and that was the first thing my brain like caught on to. Or 
And then I'm going to move him here, which uh, is to place this guy out of the general supply, which is nice. And then I spent two workers to do this, so I'm going to go here, which that actually, no, I do that this. Make sure I want to go there. Thank you, Pig. Hey, Pig, our second subscriber. Thank you. The Monkey King thanks you. And then he <laughs> thanks you again. Whoa, K-Pax subscribes. Oh, K-Pax, thank you. The Monkey We're... King also thanks you. And then <laughs> thanks you one more time. You know, when I bought this in China, I did not expect to use this. I think I actually bought this for a nephew of ours and i think i never gave it to him i'm i'm very bad at the extra step of gift, gift giving which is giving it to them i like like the buying part of it but now now i think he's too old for it but i mean maybe he's not too old for it because i'm enjoying it i'm way older than him but thank you for subscribing um the sub button didn't show initially. Oh yeah, we uh, actually. So we, I mean, actually, Pig was here. Um, Pig is private investigator, investigator, by the way, for everyone else. Um, he was part of our stream when we went affiliate last week. So uh, it must the subscription button must have taken a minute to uh, appear, just because this is our first stream since yeah so since thanks, we've been uh, affiliate so thanks Moy thank you so much and I really appreciate Pig it and k pax mm -hmm. <laughs> there was an ad there was an ad i hope we get paid for that i, I don't know how that there's works, an actually. ad before the stream oh i guess huh maybe all the streams i've watched are all um how do you say this affiliates of some sort because there's know. always an ad for me but maybe that would make sense because we I don't get to see our stream. Yeah. Our little baby stream. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to uh Pig says we have to we'll have to mess around with our uh our our uh, ad settings, which makes sense. So we're we're Thank all you, new Sarah. to this so. Uh Sarah says, Oh my gosh, congrats. Yeah, uh we would have never guessed or that that I mean, we were just doing this a few weeks ago. We we're like, let's just start doing it regularly and just to play more games, really. Yeah. And here we are. So it's very fun. Um, the support in the Twitch community for gaming is really awesome. Everyone we've met so far has just been super, super cool. So yeah, um, and it's a the Twitch gaming board gaming community has definitely enabled us to either get more games or play more games. So mm -hmm. it, I feel like there's a good return because stuff in our closet's finally getting played. Um, we're also home a lot more too, so I feel like it's a good excuse to just um, so play this, these games. This means that if you go there, you'll lose a point. Out. Whoa! Why are you able to do that? Was it your card, your special card? That was the token that I ran over. So if I go there, I do what this happens round, to this me? Round. You lose a point. I gain a point. Oh my gosh! Okay, <laughs> peek behind the screen. I was gonna go there and. Just for that, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. Just, you should go there. No. It's, a, it's, I encourage you, go No. There. This is exactly the reason why I won't go. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't even know if that strategically makes sense, but uh, morally, I don't like giving Andrew free points like that. I'm going to go. the chaotic neutral part of me. I don't know if that's the best strategy, but it was definitely the most fun thing to do. <laughs> Five. I'm gonna go here. Well, no, 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 no. Take that back. I'm gonna go here. <laughs> Pig says board game viewers are always super chill, like Bones John. And then Bones John says, "I like Bones John too." <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. Th okay. Sorry. This is gonna slow us down. But I want to know what these these. Oh, those um, those ones are. Yeah. Um. You're going to win just because to, you're going for those. I meant to look at these before the stream. So that one with the wall on it is probably something to do with the Great Wall. Immediately score the victory points. Whenever you perform the Great Wall action, you may place an extra servant from your general supply on that one. So you oh, always place two. Oh, okay. 
How about this one up here? Um, that one is uh, immediately score four, and then whenever you perform decrees action, uh, which is is this one, this, okay. this place, you may remove one servant fewer. Oh, okay. Well, then cheaper. what's this? Sorry. Uh, eight points at the end of the game. Ooh, I'm going for that. Three. Well, interesting. And we're, we, it's more expensive if you are here, right? I'm Whoa. Gonna... Level, we're, we, we are hitting a hype train. What? What is that? This is our first, this is our first hype train. <laughs> we hit level one hype train. What up? <laughs> I the monkey like king. The monkey king. king. You should just go I like that. <laughs> So we got some Griffin from like Sarah Sarah Mine. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks, Sarah. Oh, this, thanks, this is awesome. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, and Big Heap Wampum uh, got a gift, gave out a gift, tier one community gift sub. Oh, Dang. whoa. I'm going to Google. We're a little too hype train. What I'm is gonna happening? I'm going to Google all of this later. This is. <laughs> oh, they made Ruel. Uh, so, so we have um, emotes coming. He has made them. Do you want to give him a sneak peek? Um, the the it's it's they're really good. Oh, uh, so I don't know. With the subscription, <laughs> we've got some 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 subscriber emotes coming, uh, <laughs> and they're awesome. Um, uh, I'm very it's excited. It's actually been Dude, we're level three hype train. Oh no, wait, wait, level three hype train. We're 76 in 76. I, I've never. I had no idea. And we, we don't know how to read the We screen. just learned what hype trains were like two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, I keep seeing this hype train thing. What's this all about? Um, so, thank we, you guys so much. Yeah. Uh, I think w what it happens is I see this stuff online and with other streamers, but I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> um, but one of the things that's been fun, at least like drawing the emotes, is I've always been like interested in drawing and all that stuff. But it's been like a good excuse to be like, oh, I can draw a little picture of us for the stream or like I'll make an emote. And it's just been a good excuse to kind of explore that, which I've always been interested in. But yeah. um, maybe it's just board games is a creative constraint. Yeah, Sarah Sarah might just gave out five tier one. Oh, my gosh. So the, the, uh, the, the, the Monkey King really needs to think her. <laughs> Five times. Two, three. Oh, you have to go closer. One, four, two, two three, three, four. four. <laughs> oh, I like that. Five. five. Oh, the eyes. The cute eyes. <laughs> I love the cute eyes. Uh, yeah, so for anyone who doesn't know, Hype Train is when you get... Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all our subscriptions uh, back to back in a short period of time. It adds points to the Hype Train. And if you get a certain number, then you get to a certain level. And if that momentum keeps going, then you can get up to, I think, level 5 hype train. Uh, what is that? But what is level 5 hype train? Uh, I'm not sure how many subscriptions is required to get to level 5. But, <laughs> um, I, I just glanced at it. I just kind of figured out what it was. And then I was like, that'll never happen. <laughs> like, send it out. <laughs> Please need to look it up because that's not yeah. something. <laughs> well, thank you so yeah, much. Thank you so much. Um, I... It's just fun to see the, I mean, I can't, I can't really read it all, but it was yeah, really like. Yeah, the going pretty quick, but. Uh, just but some, thank you. Yeah, thanks so much, Capex. I don't know what's happening, but I'm on board. <laughs> it says I got to go lurk for a, a bit, need to shower. Okay, have, yeah, it's very early where you are, so. Uh, thanks for joining. Have fun getting ready for the day. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, and Bone John released tonight, releases tonight. Midnight. Oh, nice. Uh, is he streaming for the first time? Is that what's going on? For some reason, I thought... Yeah, let us know. Let us know. Bones, John. Um, I'm seriously looking at getting Slay the Spire. Ooh. Is it the Kickstarter launch? Let's, let us know. Three people subbing. Slay the it's Spire. I feel like I heard... Sorry, we're like talking, talking okay. over each yeah. other. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah. It's number of subs. Uh, not It's number of people's. Not the number of subs, which I guess it makes sense. Um, Great, now we don't have yeah. to Google this thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, you what happened? To drive the train. Uh, big hot, big heat wampum gifted another to your. Oh my gosh, what are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's paying forward the gift they got from seriously. My okay, got it. Uh, 
Hi. Yeah, dude. Level three complete. What is going on? That's so cool. That awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the support. This is <laughs> this is super fun. <laughs> really <laughs> exciting oh, my Monday, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the, I, I don't know whose turn it is anymore. I've got four cards left. Oh, I just went here. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So I went here. I have to pay three. <gasps> Uh-oh. You have to pay one and then pay three. Did I, you already pay the one for the... I can't remember. <laughs> the hype train started. <laughs> we need to go look at the tape. Um, let's see. I don't know if I paid... What do we think? I think I think it's hype trade, so let's yeah. pretend I paid. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's New good. Year, it's prosperity. <laughs> New Year. We'll say I paid. Uh, if I win by because of this, Andrew will forgive me. <laughs> so then I get it now or later Maybe. at the end? At the end. Uh, get, these two are end game scoring. Although oh, eight points feels like you could probably just get it now, but I feel we'll like maybe end, I shouldn't. Like the game's telling us to. Uh, okay. Hey. Um, all right. Oh, uh, Big Heat Wampum says this is way better than the movie Josiah was debating watching. Uh, <laughs> something Left Behind. You guys wanted to watch Left Behind? <laughs> oh, I was like, I, I would watch Left Behind with you guys just to laugh. It's all one. Um, watch it and make fun of it. Yeah, the uh, the movie that you guys should all watch is Finding Ohana on Netflix. We had, one of our friends was the friend of the stream. Friend of the stream. Uh, he what, he all the music on it. Additional music. Yeah, well, a, official title was additional music, <laughs> but he wrote all the music for it. Uh, so, and recorded and did a bunch of stuff. So every time there was a little bit of music, I was like, <gasps> "Tricky's <laughs> here! Everyone's subscribers now!" What's up? First day of mind, you're the Tricky. best. Well, <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, uh, thanks, Sarah. She gifted a ton. Whoa. That that's awesome. so that's so awesome. You made the you made the hype train happen. That was our first hype train. We'll have to remember this forever. I wonder <laughs> I wonder how how much like this little toy like I don't I wonder how many like The clicking is really satisfying. I don't know if it's satisfying over the microphone, but in real life it is super <laughs> satisfying. <laughs> the um I wonder if the I wonder how long, like, I feel like toys like this, like, degrade pretty quickly, so hopefully it, it will, will last pretty, I, I think it, I won't click it unless there is a subscription. <laughs> Andrew, uh, okay. take your I'm turn. I'm going to take my turn. Here. Take over the nine. And then that gets me an action down here. So I need to... You have really like fun, um, like special card action. I'm gonna spend two to go here. Um, which gets me four points. Perfect. And then I'm gonna do the action I, there. I regret going here because these ones actually get you some stuff in game. When does this game end? Uh, four rounds. So we oh. only have. This we have only one more. Yeah, one more round after this. I feel like we've been really off topic. Uh, <laughs> normal, it's a normal amount of off topic. Okay, I'm gonna spend two workers, but... and I'm gonna go here with this one. Move him up and go <gasps> here with this one. Oh, I need to get to, to the move this guy okay. there. Big moves, big moves over Whoa. here. Whoa, what's going on? I looked away for a second. I'm trying. I'm trying. Is uh is doing some stuff. Such strong yeah. support. Level three completed. Oh, oh that's awesome. Eleven subs. Hype train. Uh, big. Absolutely. Great work. Okay, so it's telling me about um, emotes are talking about emotes. So we will at the end of this stream, uh, we are gonna show you guys. P is gonna pull out her, the picture of the emotes that you guys are all gonna be getting. Uh. <laughs> And maybe you guys can say what you guys, which ones you want, because uh, there's two that she's making. I think we can only make available one because we're new. We're new. Yeah. Um, I'm flipping this one. I'm giving a bonsai <laughs> tree for this bowl of bowl of fruit. 
<laughs> um, and then I'm going to move my guy. Um, I'm going to move here and get this. Ooh, worker. The uh, little adventure track up there is pretty fun. Yeah, it's a lot nicer on the, the um, with the wood, in, the silk screen wood pieces. So, um, Hoppy Meeple, um, you're the one who said that you had the deluxe edition. Is that right? Uh, That's yes. something yeah. you can look forward to because I have played with the chipboard ones and these details are kind of lost on me, but it is really fun to play with the silk screen wooden pieces in comparison. Um, all right, so I am going to go, man, you got the one, didn't you? you? Stole it from me. I should have, I should have made the, made it cost a point for you. Nice. Well, Hoppy Meeple, it, it, it has a nice, <laughs> um, hand feel. The, <laughs> the wooden, the wooden pieces. I, it's so funny because I think Andrew tells me about, are you still? Oh, I'm just reading Tricky 20 is talking about, uh, learning so much about Twitch chat tonight. Yeah. It's a, it's definitely its own language and we've been learning it as we go. Um, which has been, it's fun to, um, to do it. And then, yeah, you guys have the, the chat points to highlight things and stuff now, which took us a while to figure out what that was (laughs) when we were in other people's streams, but it's all fun stuff. But the, I don't know. I mean, it, it doesn't feel like it's a quick game. Um, we should have just asked the Moy because he's the he's our our Twitch expert and friend. Yeah, it, it'd be probably more succinct if we just asked you, Moy, um, <laughs> than all the all the Google searches I was doing. But um, yeah, Hoppy Meeple, the um, the I'm excited for you to play. I was gonna say it might not. See, I don't know if it seems like a midweight game right now because we're talking so much, but this game probably would be about half the half the time that. that... <laughs> I just realized how few workers I sent on me. <laughs> um, half the time if you were playing it. But I really like it. I, I don't know what it is. I think it's the pace, and I think it's like the amount of things you can really plan for that is... I don't know. Sometimes I have like analysis paralysis on some other games that we have that sort of at the same level, but this one it feels I don't know. The flow and the pace is pretty so smooth that to me, at least. It's gonna let this move here. Um, oops, yeah, yeah. It 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 does. You good? There's a number. Oh whoa 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 whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm still gonna move my little adventure over there somewhere. <laughs> Sorry. The the each of these things seem kind of separate and disconnected, but um, they. Each one's so simple, and they all kind of work together in different ways. Like, they influence each other a bit. It, uh, and yeah, once you know how to play, it just, it's really smooth. And then the card play is just so fun. So I'm going to go. And, and I do like that you can take this, like, if you don't have a higher value gift, you can still go there. It's just pretty painful to pay. And I don't know why... I, I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about like games that are play off scarcity while games like that play off abundance. And oh, I love that games one. that are really abundant because it that's fun for me. It like I like playing games where you're getting a lot of stuff um, just because like trying to scrounge around like just the, the necessary things doesn't feel as fun to me. But in this one, I like that if you really need a spot, you can spend what you need. Um, obviously there's some games The like... Great Wall scores, by the way. Okay. Because I just... The token that I got from there. Um, which mm-hmm. gets me three points. Everyone watch Andrew get his points. And I have the majority, so this moves up one. Oh, no. And then I could... And then you weren't involved in that scoring, so I'm just gonna spend some influence, possibly. I don't have three, so I'm gonna spend one influence... You get one. You good? Yeah. But anyways, you can you can jump in um, and still play. Um, you can still you don't get edged out of a spot. Oh you know? whoa, Ruel's here. Hey, oh, Ruel. what's up? 
Uh, he said we raided Dakota tonight, but wanted to drop and say hi. Hey. Yeah. Oh! Well, oh. you raided us so many times. It's been so fun. You, I you mean, sp- spread the love. You spread the love. But and Dakota's awesome. We saw him at, we saw her at a Silver Medal Tavern stream the other day. Yes, yeah. And time for the Galentines this uh, this weekend. Yeah. We're doing. Um, the Tabletop Live Network's doing a 12-hour... I don't or, know if it's 12. I, uh, Maybe it's 24. This weekend, they're doing a bunch of streams. Uh, check them out. They're super cool uh, people. We watch pretty much all their channels. And they're doing Galentine's, so it's all women playing uh, board games. and Women and, and, and female presenting. And, uh, playing board games for for the stream. For uh, Galentine's. For Galentine's. I hope there's a lot of Parks and Rec, yeah. rec um, um, quotes. I hope um, Liz is listening to yeah. this because I'm thinking of you. Um, and well, last week one. when you raided us, we hit um, affiliate. So that was our first, we got our first subscriptions today and we got our first uh, hype train, which I, I barely knew what hype train was, <laughs> to, to be honest. And uh, I had looked it up just this weekend to figure out what it meant. And then one. I was like, I don't really need to look at the details because I, this will never happen to us. And then... Uh, of course, it happened to us today. So <laughs> thanks a lot, Sarah State of Mind. She she really made it happen. Yeah, and, uh, we, we we were surprised and beside ourselves, and we didn't really know what was happening. Also, you weren't here because you were gifted a subscription during that time, so um, you'll get to see our analog uh, uh, alert for that. And the Monkey King thanks you. <laughs> Wait, we have to thank him um, twice. um and then uh so andrew let me double check so i move my the turn i get is i move up Mm -hmm. and then this picture means i move up right and then technically you do that first okay yeah move up move up and then can i move up any more times i i don't spend two two, workers you can move up one two total or two more two total okay you didn't spend any for that oh got it okay okay and i'm done (laughs) <laughs> the monkey king love it yeah this was in in inspiration of course chinese new year this week uh also while we're playing goes on and uh oh american born chinese that was actually one of the first graphic novels that i that i read um, oh yes yeah um go ahead andrew your turn oh i was yeah saying something but i forgot what it was are you sure you don't want any jade? I feel like you no. want jade. Uh, the moment you you put that worker there that's like taxing the jade, I didn't want to go there at all. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go here. Um, and I am going to... But Hoppy Meeple, I, yeah, the, I'm curious about, because we've only played this two-player, and I, I really like it two-player, but yeah, I'd love to to know how it feels with with three... Um, th- I, or three or and more. And you're out of cards. I'm I, out of cards. I have one more card yeah. than you, right? So um, I think board game. Oh, I did that. Wrong. BGG board game. The the big website. Um, <laughs> board game geek. Board game yeah. geek. See, this is this is how much this is showing how much I just play the board game. Oh I don't my god! Know. Pharrell sent us some bits. Thank you. We don't have a beat. Uh, we don't have a bit. <laughs> beat. We don't have a bit. So you know. For the bits as well, <laughs> the Monkey King thanks you. <laughs> oh, he's, he's mad now. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe that's excited. <laughs> he, how many faces does he have? You know. Um, I'm not sure. Probably four. I think I see four. <laughs> yeah, we got this Monkey King in China. In China, yeah. I bought it for a nephew, and then I forgot to give it to him, and then I think he's <laughs> too old for it now. I realize I, we're we keeping sh- it. <laughs> if he's in the stream, he was in the stream earlier. So if he was here, maybe he could claim it. But oh yeah, maybe we could ask. ask. <laughs> um, um, and then Keith Wampum says bit beats. So bit maybe beats. maybe we could go. We could always have a beat. Oh, like we do have beats. Beats. Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> um, bears. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna go here. I'm just going to keep... I'm riding this adventure train over here. With my yeah, you have... Here. I don't know if you guys can see Andrew's... Yeah, he has it all filled. Ooh, I, I'm going to spend those first. I'm going to spend four of them. 
so that I don't lose out. Um, because I don't want to lose any. I'm going to spend four of them for two points, one, two. And then I'm going to do my turn there, which gets the We worker. have one more turn, right? Yeah, one more round. One more round, and then we um, are and then I'm do scoring. Two for that, yeah. I do not do the adventuring part all the way over there, and I don't think I did it last time either. It makes me feel like I should. Okay. All right, Ready? so that's the end of the round. Score it? Yep. Okay. One, two, three, four. So um, I don't have any of the fortune dice. <laughs> I have one. You have one? I have one, and it's the one that's done. You get the majority with just one. Oh, so you get two workers? I've been waiting for it. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. just saved. Just so snatched that... it from me. Uh, just snatched so it So I get from two me. workers. Mm-hmm. Um... And uh, and then the majority bonus, which is three points. Yes. One, two, two three. three. And you move your guy. Oh, you're the first oh, one. Yes, I timed no. out perfectly. I'm uh, so bad at these games because there's like a timing piece that, that it's like being efficient is really <laughs> rewarded and I'm not an efficient game player. Um, I'm uh, a vindictive player and I don't want to give Andrew any extra points. So <laughs> I do poor, poor... I use poor strategy. Yeah. Rural says, uh, talking to Sarah State of Mind, yeah. talking about what he's playing. Oh, congrats, oh, Michelle. Catan. Yeah. Rios Catan, uh, I don't know if we've told you this yet, but that was, so the first game that got us into the hobby was Ticket to Ride. But uh, that was the first game that made us consider modern board games. And then the second game was Rivals of Catan because we were over at my, Pia's cousin's my house. My cousin Lagaya's house. And she said that uh, they had just had some kids, and they had just got Rivals of Catan, and they said it's the perfect nap activity because they had been watching so many shows during kids' nap. They just didn't feel like they were connecting, and so they got Rivals of Catan, and it, which we copied them, and um, really, really loved it. And it kind of blew my mind at the time. I was like, it's just like a tan, but it's with cards. I, like, I couldn't understand how it was the same, but different. Um, and then Dominion was the third one. But anyways. That's the that was kind origin of the story. The origin story. So I uh, love that you guys love, love for We still haven't. We haven't played it for. We haven't played it forever. We should. You, this is kind of inspiring me to like, maybe we should dust it off and try it again. Because it's been so long. It's like a cycle where... Oh, thanks oh. for explaining it well. Explain what Rivals of Catan even is, we didn't say. Um. Yeah, it's like a cycle because um, Hoppy Meeple hopefully will be able to play this this week. Fingers crossed. And now um, Sarah Street and mine is talking about a game that we'll probably pull out this week. Yeah, that'll be fun. I think that's the thing that Andrew always, like, if I'm like, oh, I'll play a game, like, grab a couple that you're interested in, and then Andrew will bring out, like, five boxes, <laughs> and then he'll give me the pitch for each one. But there's something about other people playing a game that makes me, like, more interested than Andrew giving five pitches. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't even have to be very much. It's just like, I played this, and I'm like, oh, Sarah's playing this game. But no, I want to play it. These refills. It might just be, it's kind of what Ruel has said in his chat, where it's, um, it's kind of like, um, what is the word? It's like at a board game cafe where you see someone playing something and it sparks your interest. I feel like that's part of seeing board games played on Instagram. And you're like, oh, what's that? Like, do we have that? Um, mm -hmm. Do you want um, to roll the fortune dice? Yeah. The fortune, di rolling the fortune dice was good for me. Whoa. Five, four. And nine. Nine. Interesting. And then we get four workers. Um, can't believe you made it up the steps before me. You were so far ahead. What happened was I was resting a whole lot, grabbing food from the carts on the side of the road, or the side of the... I don't know if there's there's food being sold in the Forbidden City, but I'd like to think that there is. And I got a lot of energy and then sprinted the last <laughs> <laughs> the last bit of the way up the stairs. Uh, Bones John says, oh, in the, that case I've heard of it and want it, but I forgot about it. Oh, forgot the name. Catan Duel would have been a good one, too. Mm -hmm. um, and we're also saying, always love a good origin story. Yeah. <laughs> we, love, we love telling an origin story. Um, and it's funny, we don't recommend any of those games when people are like, I want to get into games, but 
I, I, I think good. we forgot. Yeah, I think it's, it, you just move on at some point, I think. And then... But they're still good. I just don't know what the... Um, it's like a... It's just the ever-moving... Um, um, ever-moving, like, taste mm. and whatnot. Bojan says, I've signed up once. Uh, sent to the Dominion website. I've heard of the Dominion website. I had a friend who was super into it for a while, played competitively. I gotta check that out because online gaming, uh, even though I always love the feel of the components uh, and playing something in, in real IRL, as they say, um, I, uh, you know, online is what we have right now. So I uh, definitely would check that out. Eight is the highest card, right, Andrew? Or is nine? Nine is. Okay. I don't know what nine is. Sarah State of Mind says, I'm the same way. If someone is playing a game I have, it just sounds more appealing to get to the table. <laughs> That's so, that a, a very concise way of saying that. Uh, I don't know why I'm not that way as much. I'm just like, it's the box art and the, the I don't know. I don't know what it is that makes me want to play a specific game. It's actually the person I'm playing with. It's it's the game I want to play with that person. That's that typically is the the inspiration for me. Mm. Oh man, I don't know what. Okay, sorry. Not the thing. <laughs> Pig is back from the shower. <laughs> He's ready for the day. Is it? Is it? Uh, it's usually five a.m. at this time. How much? How much sleep do you usually get, Pig? Because <laughs> I I feel like you don't sleep a lot. Because I. <laughs> I've, I've seen you streaming at various times. That's just like normal times for us, and then you're still awake now, but yeah. I don't know if that leaves you time to sleep. <laughs> yeah, just we, have, we have, I have friends, the, the Moy being one of them, who, uh, they just need less sleep, so. Operates in less Operates sleep. on less. Their body's more efficient. Yeah. <laughs> um, ah, oh, I did not. Pig says the game layouts on the box makes you buy them. Mm. Yes, sometimes it's just the cover and the the pitch on the back. If I'm doing my work, I'll do some research. But sometimes there's is this still here? Is me. this in my way? Oh, still? that that something happens to that. At the okay, end of it's gone. Um, uh, you should one each time, and that player was okay. At the end of the day, face place this token face down above the player board as usual, and return the server to your job. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Now that I don't have to give Andrew extra points for buying Jade, I will go and get Jade. Go here. I'll spend three. <laughs> since my illness makes me buy games from Shopaholic. <laughs> three to get this. Shopping is fun. And then I'm going to... What is this? I haven't played the three, apparently. So I'm not sure what this does. Oh, that one allows you to switch two cards from either your hand or your discard pile in, in the <gasps> table. Oh! So if you do it with your discard pile, then it goes into your discard pile. Uh, if you do it from your hand, it goes into your hand. Oh, interesting. So you could, sw you could swap... Not that I could see your hand or anything. Whoa, you could swap that whoa. two for like an eight or a seven. That's or, what I'm going to yeah. do. Um... Done. Pig said we should start a club. I packed 48 games last year. 52 backed. More today. <laughs> Which ones did you back today, Pig? Um, Go ahead. Backed like, um, like Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Kickstarter yeah. uh, that's what I'm guessing. The, um, only because I started watching Twitch and uh, watching board games getting played. Now, it's like this I feel like this is the cascade. This is this is your this is what, what happened to you. It is a big scheme. <laughs> it's a big Andrew scheme that somehow I happened upon Ruel's stream, and then I was like, I want to play more board games. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the uh, I've been like looking at Kickstarter um, Kickstarters for games now, and I've never done that before. Uh, but it just Stuff comes up on the Instagram that's like fun or exciting. Mm -hmm. um, there's one that has been really interesting to me that it's already backed, but it's called. Oh, what's that? Now I can't. Now I can't remember. I will return to that after I make this move. 
Uh, Pig says it's going to have one game a week once they all start following it. You know, that's not a terrible way. Uh, I don't know if I, uh, I, I showed earlier in the stream, but I don't think you guys were in quite yet. I just got a Kickstarter today. Um, I'm excited. About, where did it go? I do not know. We picked it up and we showed it to the screen. Oh, it's here. It's here. She hit it with me. Andrew's just not good at scamming. His, like, visual, like, his scanning skill. I would pull on under the table, to be fair. (laughs) Uh, Import import slash export. Uh, Small box game. It's got, it's actually quite heavy. It's got, it's full of metal components. Little metal ships and stuff like that. But Um, also, if anyone on the stream recognizes this flag, you get... You get points. The The points are... I don't know what, how you would redeem them, but you'd get points from us. <laughs> but I knew the flag, and Andrew didn't. And that's why I'm repeating it again as many times as possible, because I knew something <laughs> that Andrew didn't know. But Andrew's not super great with flags anyway, so... Um, but if you know it, Let's type see. it in the chat. I only know it because of a West Wing episode that I watched recently. Pig says uh, Pine, Coral Island, and a board game named As Good As It Gets. Looked like an amazing game to play with chat. Oh, I saw As Good As It Gets. I didn't see the other two, but As Good As It Gets did look fun. It kind of, um, if you listen to Board Game Barrage at all, um, it sounds like a True Colors or Question of Scruples, which are two one of the guys on there who really likes, but it asks a, like a moral dilemma to the, to the table. Seems like a cool one. That would, be, that would work well with your stream, I would agree. What's what's this do again, Andrew? Oh no 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 no! I remember that. I remember that. Can I go? Oh no! Gonna... Pig's tabletop library is catching up with the Steam library. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> We're also, oh, I don't know the flag. Uh, it is an Asian country. Good good guess, Ruel. It's not Mongolia. Uh, Paiyun and mm-hmm. Coral Island are video games. Oh, okay, Paiyun. that's why I had. Board Game Barrage is a fantastic podcast. Yes, if anyone doesn't listen to it, definitely, I recommend it. They're they're just funny people to listen to. Um, and I like how they have they have like the different opinions and they're fun. Like they inter their interactions are funny. Mm-hmm. I don't always agree with their assessments of certain games, but uh, but it's always entertaining. You yeah. you you said though you said that you agree with all the games they like. And you disagree with the games they dislike, but I think it's because you're an Omni gamer and you like yes. most games. I do like most games. Uh, yeah, they they are they are pretty harsh critics, which I it's I, good for I, I enjoy. It's good it's good for the podcast, and that's why I'm not a reviewer or anything like that. We so. could never review games because we're like we like it, <laughs> <laughs> or we haven't played it enough. We're like it was fun the first time, and then we can't. Critically review Let's go it. Caro anymore. guesses Malaysia and my and then Hobby Meeple says Myanmar. Yeah, you guys are getting closer. Uh, actually, what would be the closest one geographically? I'm not sure. They're all about the same. Um, I think it says, yeah, we should make it happen. I think they're talking about the club. Hmm, sorry. What is. He says he's thinking about doing a board game po- podcast. Don't know how to do it. Um, you, I mean, Seems like you you just have to kind of kind of the, think of a vision for the format. Um, the, um, can you pass me the direction? Oh, the, Sorry. Are you gonna go on? I'm, I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm trying to go on an adventure. It might be too late to be adventuring right now. <laughs> um, I've been hitting the adventure track hard. Yeah, it looks really fun up there. Which it is, is fun. Why... You just get stuff. <laughs> That's what makes it fun. Maybe you. Maybe you're the one. Which do you know what these do? This one. Um. So that one is plus one. So it adds one to a card. So I have a times two here. So I could make this two a four or this oh, five a ten. It seems like it's not a really good time to do. I can use it any time. But it's but it's almost over. It is almost the game over, is yeah. almost over. Okay, this one gets. Yeah, let's go, Kara. Board Game Barrage. They have a uh, their top 50 they just finished doing, and it's a good one to just get a feel for what types of games they like. 
Uh, bye, Ruel. He says he's got a rent. Stream looks great. Congrats. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Thanks. This is this. Our friend made this for us, which uh, was super, super awesome of him. He might come in the chat at some point. Rage, he said he was going to check it out today. Um, thanks but, for joining us. Yeah, Ruel. thanks for joining us, Ruel. Um, Let's see. I think I'm going to go... Sorry, this is a really long turn. I, it's just the last turn, so it's I don't want to... the last round, you know, it's all, all the pressure's on to, to get I don't want to mess it up. Um... Okay, I'm going with I'm going with this. Going here. And then I'm going to um what's this piece to? That here. moves it up. And then I'm going to place one one here. And I just great wall. And an additional, I'm going to discard guy. And place one more, yeah. And then that scores it. Yes, and you yes. just, you're ahead of me because you're on top. Yeah. So then, well, you get the three points. Oh, you're already ahead of me. You move your guy, which is irrelevant. Although, do you get a point? Oh, yeah. yeah. You get one point each time you try to move. And then um, your guys come off. I didn't do this this turn. Oh, you didn't? Mm -mm. So then I get another point, right? And you should be one time. Yeah. And I so get, you get one more point. Sorry, I didn't pay attention because I thought I, my emperor, my guy was already chilling with the emperor. So. Yeah. Oh, I got to do that before the end of this. I need to remember. To do oh that. no! I brought attention to it. That I, I can't just, forget. I can't one forget. day I want you to just be completely distracted and just. I love this emperor. part of the game because it gives you just it's. I don't think it's relatively easy to do. If you just for everyone who doesn't know, if you don't get your guy to the end of this track here, who just moves up, if he up, doesn't visit the emperor, if he doesn't pay, visit the emperor, and you know honor him, you are not eligible to win. You can't win the game, even if you have a million points. So uh, it just provides that little bit of tension in the game that you've always got to think about it, and you never get rewards for moving up this either. So it's not it like it feels so empty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, but it's a fun, it's a fun mechanic. I it's like the reward is to meet the emperor itself, but the the journey is not one that gets you a whole lot. I should be planning my next turn. Did you go? Oh, that I, was it. That yeah. was it. Yeah, yeah. it's your turn. Um, I need to look at one thing here. Three. Okay, so I am going to I'm gonna use my times two here and then go here. So that's gonna be equivalent of an eight. Um and I'm gonna to get to do the boat action which is I'm going to start with um, oh, can't do both of those because this is it. This is the this final. Is yeah, this is the scramble. I'm going to not do the boat action. I don't know if the little guys, and but I do get to do that for one cheaper, so I don't have to pay the extra one for years. So I spend. Three to place one. Um, and that's that turn. Oh, I only have one more. <gasps> no, I have more right here. That seems suspicious. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> no, I mean, you're good. You're good. Uh, the Moy says, I like the mecha uh, that mechanic in games, like Cthulhu Wars. Uh, shoot, what mechanic was I talking about? The, oh, this one. We were just talking oh, about this. Yes. this yeah, in Cthulhu, about? yeah, in Cthulhu Wars, yeah, there's the thing where it's just that little bit of pressure that you aren't eligible to win unless you meet one certain uh, requirement, yeah. That that has, like, no return during the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then you have to balance, like, should I do it during this turn because my cards aren't that good, or should I do it, um, yeah. 
later. It's like a it's like a chore. It's like I gotta go um, get the car washed, and I don't want to do it. Well, I, <laughs> but um, so I'll place this, and I'll get rid of this to get this. And I swear those were mine because oh, anything the great else. Wall scores again, so you get another win there. Oh my gosh! I stayed away from the Great Wall the last time. Um, and so I really wanted to try and this And you get time. another point for getting the gun. Really, you're just banking points on this. Um, and then they're gone. And then we... Uh, right? They're gone or they're back to the, play? They're gone. They're gone. <laughs> is that how you get those extra two? No! <laughs> he is cheating on We're, we're going to look at the tape. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to rewatch this. So you can spend your influence to do stuff. Oh, I can... So I'm going to spend one. I'm going to gonna spend... Oh, I can't get a jade or anything like that. Um, well, does this does this get us any points later, or is it you got to use it now? Um, it breaks ties. It breaks ties at the end of the game too. So, oh, not that we will be tied. You don't think we'll be tied? Maybe. Well, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with my one worker. I need it though. I need a worker to. I'll spend one for one just to keep my tie. Go ahead. Saw a guy washing his car yesterday. Too cold for that. Yeah, um, I, so P and I got married in January. Uh, not this January, but many Januaries ago. Um, and uh, I washed, I went, I needed to wash my car because we were going to be driving away from the church um, in it. And it's a white car. And it was freezing like two weeks leading up to the, the, it was freezing temperatures the whole two weeks before the wedding. And so, I had to wash my car in like 20 degree weather and I didn't do a good job because the water kept freezing to the car. <laughs> anyway, but it was like, it's I, a bad time to wash cars in January. But um, it was, the car, since it's white, was so dirty and he was like, people are going to take pictures of us leaving in this car. I have to wash it. But it's like frozen. <laughs> hey guys, how many Januarys ago? Uh, 2014. Um, so that was... Whoa. Seven. Crazy. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, Andrew, it's your turn. Uh, yeah, I was just out there <laughs> trying to wash my car for get prepared for the wedding, and the water kept freezing to the car, I and there was chunks of like <laughs> ice shaped dirt on the car afterwards. I think it was fine because it was dark when we drove away, but I don't think I ever was able to fix it. I uh, forgot about that. I do remember when we opened the door, there was just like icy, like on the bottom of the door. Like, mm -hmm. I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm going to go here. And I am going to spend a worker to move this three. One, two, three. And I guess I get this. Not like that probably does anything for me at the end of the game, but okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad the nine came out. So for those who are watching, a bowl of fruit, which is a one, beats a nine. That's the like only thing that breaks the rule, which always, it, which is funny to me. Um, but also <laughs> when we travel in China, like the seasonal fruit or the fruit in the different like regions is like a really big deal. People like make sure that they buy when they travel to get like the regional fruit of that area and to bring it home. So it's actually, I think thematically people wouldn't realize that, but like, I think they do that in the Philippines too, where like if there's a fruit that's in season in a certain area, like they'll really make sure to grab some um, before they go. Like this is my family in Manila who visit in the South where there's a lot of like farms. So I do like the that the fruit trumps the like highest number. Um, but I'll get the nine. And then I'm going to what's this? What's this thing? Uh, over here. It's the uh, decrees. Oh, I can't do any decrees because yeah. I don't have anything. We're both out at work. And then so I'm gonna move. I'm just scooting that over. This sure one. Yep. This just one. And then you've got it. So mm -hmm. then that's it. Uh, all right. So I gotta do this before I forget. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it would have been so funny if you completely by the chat. it. <laughs> Bone John says, I have Stone Age, Pillars of the Earth, Architects of the West Kingdom, and Little Town, but people only like Stone Age. <laughs> I want Waterdeep and Gugong, but can't justify it. Those are all great games. Um, Stone Age, we 
have played a few times. I owned, and then we left in the Philippines. It's a really fun. I, I it's a great worker placement game. We left it to give it to our friends. Yeah, um, sorry, or we, my cousins. Yeah. It's not like we just left it there. We, games we like get left in the Philippines <laughs> because family grabbed them. Uh, Stone Age is really, really fun. Mm -hmm. We um, just got Architects of the West Kingdom. I kind of stayed away from those games. Why? Um, they just looked really generic to me. But then pe it just kept showing up on people's top ten lists. And people love it. And even three or four years later, people were still referencing how much they like it. So that's what finally sold me on it. And and did you? It's really fun. Is that the is that the one over there? And it's funny because Andrew thought I wouldn't like the art, but I actually really do like the art. I am oftentimes wrong at which art. <laughs> it's a style. I think it's like if it's it doesn't have to be super cute or anything. It just has to be. Um, I don't know if it's consistent or if it's just like maybe bold is what I would would say. Like, um, like instead of it being like not wanting to. Yeah, bold, I guess, is it, where it, like, really just leans into the art style rather than kind of, like, doesn't, they don't think about My it. My final move is I'm just switching the five for the two. Okay. Yeah. Um, But I really liked, well, we played, because we played Architects, right? Yeah, Architects. Yeah. We played it a few times. And then Waterdeep, I'm assuming that's Lords of Waterdeep? Mm -hmm. I love that game. That was a game we brought to a bubble tea shop <laughs> and we didn't realize how big the board was but we, we set up on this tiny little bubble tea table and it was like hanging over the edges uh, but we were meeting well, we, up with a friend in piano we got, through the, we we got through the game but there were people who were like stand not standing but kind of looking over and i don't know if they were like confused about what, why we had an enormous game at this bubble tea shop or if they were like curious about the Lord of the Waterdeep is a D&D &D theme. Mm -hmm. Or if they thought we were playing D&D &D and they, I don't know. But yeah. it was an er early in our um, board game um, uh, hobby that we play that. But I love it. We still it was play our first work replacement game that we really enjoyed. And we, I also really liked the, um, and I, I didn't grow up knowing anything about D&D &D too, so I it's surprising that I liked it so much because I don't know if I would have latched onto the theme very much. But we play on the phone. Um, we, I, we the app is really good. Yeah, we'll we'll play um, two player on the phone. Uh, Big Keep Wampum asked what our favorite fruit of the season uh, when you travel. Oh, in the, a lot of good ones. In Mango the steen is mine. Mango steen is really good. We went to a buffet and my aunt who lives in Manila was like freaking out because they had all this mango scene at this buffet and she's like grabbing them and bringing full plates of them she's like do you know how many how much money this is how much one kilo is in manila um because again the south all the fruit is really cheap um in comparison because they don't have to move that travel. bring them that travel but so mango scene is super good but we we everyone was warning us they were like you need to slow down you're gonna get sick <laughs> we're like this is really expensive elsewhere we ate so much at the buffet and did you you got sick right no oh. um they were worried that you were gonna get sick oh. but um so mango scene obviously mango is just really good there it's like just a different level but i really like pomelo as well we usually go during like during december january and pomelo is like a really good, sweet, um, but tart, uh, grapefruit. Yeah. Uh, Pig says, fun fact, we're working on a rule set for Stone Age with chat. That's got to be hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds fun. Uh, would chat just argue about which spot they should take, and then you guys take your spots? Let us know. I want to um, know. I want to know, yeah. Uh, Miko's art is amazing. Yeah, his art is really cool. I do like, I don't know what it was about the covers. I think it was because they're so... Including the um, the North Kingdom games, the Raiders of the North Sea and whatnot. Uh, there were so many of those games, and they just looked like they were different colors. And then Board Game Barrage also gave them really terrible reviews, so I just kind of listened to that. And uh, Also, you, I feel like colors are a little... You're a little off with colors because yeah, you're colorblind. Color color so, anyways, that ultimately... That's why I dismissed it, because they looked similar. But when I, I, I didn't really get even that close of a look. I just saw the, that, oh, there's like a red one and a blue one. Anyways, I'm really glad that we got into them. And we actually, we have the other one, over, other two over there. And we need to, we need to play.
play that. Yeah, I don't know why Andrew didn't think I liked art. I like the like the thick line artwork. Ooh, Biggie Wampa was talking about. Uh, he saw Pomelo on NHK. Pomelo was so Ooh, cool. NHK. We were big, big, big heap Wampa. We were talking about NHK the other day of the stream. We were talking about the most recent um, um, episode that we saw that yeah. you, you guys recommended with the um, the tea, the person who did the tea ceremonies. Yeah, that was a really great episode. Uh, let's go, Kara says, I agree, Pia. I love it when an artist's work is clearly there. Yes, yeah. There's something, there it, instead of it being, like, not stock art, but just, like, kind of gathered haphazardly or whatever, mm-hmm. um, I, I, can, I can be for an art style that isn't really my cup of tea, but if it's really, like, um, I don't know. Like, they, you could see that they were given more control or, or more um, space to be creative. Yeah. Uh, Miko's doing the art for Endless Winter Kickstarter game. Yes, I think I got in. On, I got on in, in on that one. <laughs> I, I'm so learning this now. <laughs> I'm I'm excited for that. Uh, uh, and Pig says we have a dice tower for chat rolls. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Um, I got to see players, this. Yeah, I got to see. It. I got to see. I'm this. excited. Uh, players will just tell us where they're going and how many people. Since there's no hidden hand. Yeah. I, it, that doesn't make sense. There's no hidden information in that game, so it should work. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm ready to do the score. So here we go. So we've got to first, I think we've got to do the end of the, Ooh. the day stuff. So uh, Watch five, it. four, nine. Um, I've got <gasps> three. How many do you have? No, I thought I was doing well. <laughs> I was even saying, Watch this. <laughs> it's you have two. Yes. Yeah, I get the. I get the oh, I three points. Oh. One, two, three. I thought I was doing well with and two. And this guy moves up, which gets me in a bit. I'm trying to think of what I did for my last turn. That No, I did get the nine for the last turn. I was going to say, if I should, I should have. Oh, yeah, I just got a card for the last turn. Oh, so, that's what it was. The boats move. We pretty much ignored the boats this game. Um, and we were not into the boats. The boats place. can get you a ton of stuff. The double meat, the double worker. The double meat. It just costs so many workers to use the boats. It um, does. All right. Final but scoring. But the boats are really pretty looking. We okay, Oh, we score okay. the uh, the wall one last time. So it's three. One, two, three for me. Plus the guy moves up one. So four. Um, then we... Um, Oh no! Score these. So each. I didn't see that you get up. You got in on the eight. <laughs> oh. So I get thirty. That's kind of a wash. Then um, you're at twenty five. So you're at thirty three. Um, the emperor, you get seven. So you're at forty, and I am at five. So thirty five. Ready? I definitely like think my moves are going to be way more interesting. And then the final is Jade. We both have two Jade, getting us each three points. So I do definitely declare, watch this, and then it's really not as not as big of an impact as I thought it would be. And I never spent these, but that would be able to get me two points. How do, how would you have spent that? At any time, you can spend them. Oh, um, oh! I should have done that. Well, no, it doesn't. All you would have points. gotten was a worker. Oh, but either way, you wouldn't uh, have been able to catch up. I wouldn't have been able to catch up. Congratulations, <laughs> he is the winner. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've won um, on the stream. On, on the stream, because I'm too distracted. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> which is funny because Andrew's managing the stream, but this is also the first game we've played where we played it before. We're not learning anything. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, you played Suburbia before. So I blame yeah. your win on that. <laughs> Let's switch to the faces one. And but, so you guys have been patiently waiting to see what the subscriber... Oh, I don't think... The subscriber... We'll show you both the options. Oh, my God. Um, and then you guys can tell us what this, which one you think. This is my nightmare because I'm not done with them. And Andrew, this is... This is an artist does not show partially completed work. And but the height, the height, people got no. people are subscribing now. Um, Grip Dogs is probably not see Endless Winter until tw- until twenty twenty two. Well, that is probably a reasonable 
That'll be on track with the rest. So here, um, oh. actually, you want to go for that one. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't think it's... No, I don't know if it's going to work. In a bit. It's going to be pixelated. Oh no, so this yeah. is the oh. part of it. This so is, that's one. This is the PS thinking face. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but the one I prefer is... <laughs> Oh, it needs to be smaller. I think that's the hard thing with these pixelated things. But this is Pia eating popcorn <laughs> and, wa and watching, watching the nonsense. This is actually this popcorn eating um, like emoji or like GIF. I will actually think about Tricky Twenty all the time um, when I see these popcorn. When people are like, "There's a fight! There's a fight in group chat!" and then you just want to eat popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been a fun. It's been fun to kind of goof off and um, doodle and between turns and draw. So, mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> I think the popcorn one is is the I'm getting the most. Oh. Right now. <laughs> thanks, guys. Yeah. I, I, so, anyone, is. all you guys who subscribe, <laughs> uh, again, thanks. You'll be getting the probably the popcorn one whenever Pia finishes it. And we get up, get it uploaded. Anyway. And yeah, after I finish it, and then we Google how to put it on the thing. I don't know if it's like very um, difficult. I don't think it's too hard. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But um. thanks for the enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah. I um I like to doodle, but I don't like to show it. So Andrew's putting me out of my comfort zone. And <laughs> no, it's good. It's a good <laughs> excuse. A bit. Uh, they keep well, well, says I love the popcorn one, and that ain't no doodle. That's <laughs> Michelangelo. <laughs> Ron Justice does a great drawing. Aw, yeah. uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's been really cool to see all the... I mean, she made the uh, the uh, cover uh, prof pick and now yeah, these emotes. And yeah, they're yeah. all really exciting to me. She keeps, she starts each thing with like, oh, they're not that good. And then I see them like, oh my gosh, it's, it's amazing. I think it's because like I like to doodle or draw, but I think I need a like a, a reason for it so it's i mean yeah i think that's like the, the creative constraint of like oh I, we need like a, a funny expression like, okay i can do that instead of just like generally like work on your art i don't that's that's too i end up wanting to do other things um <laughs> It's too generic if it's just generally. Good. Or I end up I'm like, oh, we should clean the house or do something else. <laughs> so because uh, he knows some people as they can convert and clean them for Twitch. Cool. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Uh We'll look into trying to do it ourselves first, but I'll message you if we if we find out that it's harder than we thought. <laughs> yeah, that was part of part of me. It's like I don't know if I want to try to figure this out, but. We still have, we have the time, we still have paternity and maternity leave, so we've been exploring and um, figuring all this stuff out, and it's been really fun, but the, um, but Google, I, I actually, I don't know if you won, you won last time, mm -hmm. so now, um, we're even, we're even, which we're not super competitive with each other, but sometimes we are, depending on the game. If it's a game I feel like I could be good at, then I'm like, I need to beat Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Vicky promises, Pia, I'm going to start a Twitch just to commission you to draw, draw me. <laughs> Ready yet. <laughs> uh, says, yeah, you you got a good hand. Um, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you'll need to make lots more for when you make partner. Yeah, so the oh, tier, wow. how many you have. So affiliate, I think, can have like five or six eventually, but when you're just a new affiliate, they give you one. Oh. And then you were telling me this. Maybe I'm wrong. The, well, I don't know. I have to. I have to relook. Okay. Sometimes, Anyways, like, just I think researching. we only have like... access to one that we can have as part of our um, subscriber bonuses, and then we get more as we have more subscribers or something along those lines. So, but anyways, um, but thank you for joining us. That was a, a lot longer. Again, this to summarize, this game is it can more be than an hour. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's definitely. Um, um, th wouldn't take this long if you were not talking. Vic says his partner is competitive until she starts winning. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't hear you. <laughs> um, but oh, yeah. Sarah wants to know the country flag. It was, oh, yes. A lot of good guesses. Um, it's Taiwan's flag. 
Apparently. Yeah. And 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 if this Not is wrong, it is. It is. We looked it up. Maybe the the problem was it does look like a lot of I think I have to bounce it off the light. Taiwan. Bones John winning or whining? <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's Taiwan's flag, and the episode was talking about. Um, oh, the, the the West Wing episode was talking about um, different flags that, like, um, like China or Taiwan would have wouldn't recognize, uh, like politically. Politically, so that was the only reason why I knew, and then um, I needed to brag to Andrew that I knew. Pig says her, she has her telepathy powers, uh, and we have her phones, John. Uh, like, subscribe, give them some money. <laughs> <laughs> you won't regret it. <laughs> the more the West Wing, so it is. It I've is never so watched West Wing before, so it was, um, a g- well, it was good because there's so many seasons of it. Um, but I keep telling, I feel bad because I just keep trying to recap it to Andrew, um, which Ultimately, he should just watch it instead of me poorly recapping it. But I don't know if he will now because he's heard my description of it so many times. But, um, um, yeah, I mean, what's mean? It's just so long. There's so much of it at this point. But I like flew. I just like that's all I watched when for the first two months when the baby was born when we were I was feeding him. So, um. Um, so I, so before we kind of sign off, I'm going to raid a channel here in a minute. I'm um, just looking for one. There's someone playing Scythe, looks like. That looks, that's a game I love. They've got one viewer, so it might be exciting to, to raid them. Um, and But we do have a couple things coming up we wanted to plug. We are almost done with our second vlog on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, we've exported it and should be uploaded tomorrow. So look okay. forward to that. Ha- and then um, you you should watch it because Andrew was given more creative control. And it's a little bit wilder this time <laughs> than the first time. It's a little crazy. There's a couple moments. Tell us if you like them. If it's too much, we can we can maintain the chill vibe. <laughs> no, I I don't think we will be able to go back. <laughs> After the way Andrew has has edited and um, you know um, you know creatively directed it, so <laughs> Moy says Liz watched through the West Wing five times, <laughs> and I catch episodes here and there. At this point, I've seen the whole show. Probably. Oh, I probably will end up doing that with this show. Uh, That's like Community in this house. He has probably seen every episode mm-hmm. five times at least. Um, watch it. It's always sunny on Philadelphia. Then. On your next show, I'll count how many times you've seen Dayman. <laughs> I have seen that. It's been years since. But I, I have it. That might be a yeah. good next the first, one, too. I ended up falling off of it after a certain point, and then I just catch the episodes that are recommended at this point. But mm-hmm. um, Dayman, I think, is the first few seasons. Super funny show, though. Um, board game spam are like. Coke and sweet and bubbly. Thanks for watching. Show. Yes, Raid, can't wait. Um, wait, Pig says, Oh, spam, I have a great idea. Should 2v2 versus tabletop somehow? Uh, yeah, that sounds great. Um, we'd love to figure out a time that works. Our yeah. This time slot is kind of the time slot that works best for us our- because of the uh, baby. Yeah, but, but um, send us a. I don't know what they. It's the yeah. I, I don't know chat? how. Yeah, what chat, is it? private chat. Um, I don't know how what they're 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 called a funny thing on 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 Twitch. I don't know what it is, but send us uh something and we can coordinate. And then does anyone have something on? Uh yes, I use Discord. Screen name is Zora. It's a capital Z. Uh. Well. Find me in uh, in the. I'll send it a whisper. Yeah, there you go. A whisper. Sarah, thank you. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> whisper to me, and then I'll send you my Discord contact. I was like, it's a term. We'll it's not it chat. It's a different word, but it sounds a little creepy. Yeah. It's a whisper. <laughs> Technologically, I don't know yet how to do the uh, do the the Zoom. Basically, the Zoom games mm-hmm. where you're doing it over the internet. But I'm excited to try those. Yeah. 
But if it, if anyone's got ooh code name, yes, that can be very fun. Two years in code name. Uh, Does anyone have anybody they want that they know that we should raid? Otherwise, I think we'll go. We're with... doing Fozzy Man Dias. <laughs> He's playing Scythe. <laughs> okay. Oh, Pig, you got someone? Oh yeah, let's get let's get your friend. That was a great experience last time. Kind of unrelated. That's okay. It's okay. If there there is no one we know, but he, he needs, needs the help. help. We love, we love him. helping. We uh, love helping out. I mean, that's how we got our people help us out. Anyway. Night. Bionic um, Ninja eighty eight. All right, here we go. Hopefully, we don't mess up the um the the raid. Ionic underscore ninja eighty eight. Here we go. He's got one viewer, so we're about to blow him up and start the raid. Did it work? Is it working? I think working? it's going. Night, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. Us. Thank you so much. Did it work? Let's see if I Right. Right. Wait until he sees. <laughs> 